بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about the differential diagnosis of intra-testicular mass lesion, the common causes, less common causes, and the clues for differential diagnosis for common and less common causes. With examples, hoping you like the talk. Essential information, age and the clinical presentation, and color doublet examination is important in differential diagnosis of these intertesticular masses. For example, trauma and a vascular testicular mass consider hematoma in these patient. If you have history of young male patient with acute scrotal pain and increased doublet flow within the epididymis and adjacent testis consider epididymal orchitis is the diagnosis. If patient is presented with acute scrotal pain, heterogeneous or normal testis with no or relatively decreased doublet flow consider testicular torsion the diagnosis. If patient, young male patient with slowly growing vulvable hypoacuic testicular mass consider seminoma or mixed germ tumor. Patient has testicular mass with endocrinopathy consider gonadal stromal tumor. If the patient is elderly with HIV and bilateral hyperemic testicular masses consider lymphoma. Sonographic findings are the key but overlap among various tumor. Histopathologic correlation is also needed to for confirmation. The differential diagnosis, we have common, less common, and rare causes. The common causes include testicular carcinoma, germ cell tumor, testicular hematoma, epididymitis, slash orchitis, and testicular torsion with or without segmental infarction. Clues for the common diagnosis. Testicular carcinoma germ cell tumor, most common in neoplasm in male, and it is aged between uh, 15 to 34 years. The vast, vast majority of these patients have seminoma and mixed germ cell tumor. Seminoma typically solitary homogeneous testicular mass, rarely multifocal or partially cystic if necrotic. Other germ cell tumor include teratoma, teratocarcinoma, embryonal cell carcinoma, York sarc tumor, choriocarcinoma. Mixed echogenicity have mixed echogenicity, heterogeneous masses, and often with cystic component with or without calcification. Imaging overlap precludes imaging the diagnosis. Tumor marker and demographic beta human choriogonadotrophic hormone alpha fetoprotein and LDH may suggest non seminometas component. Endodermal sinus teratoma 
involve the first decade, assess the retroperitoneal if I identify intraarticular mass, contrast enhanced CT imaging modality of choice to for preoperative staging of nodal chain and lung metastasis. Here we have uh, a patient with microlithiasis involving the testis and with hypoclock mass with increased vascularity in the superior aspect of the mass and evolved to be seminoma in this male, 32 years old, associated with microcalcification. And here the specimen of the tumor. Here another patient with the mass lesion in the inferior aspect of the testis, longitudinal scan, and this hypocork with mainly hypocork with some isocork areas and with some increased vascularity and uh, histopathology above to be seminoma. Here another patient with a large mass involving um, most of the testis in this longitudinal axis and it is heterogeneous mass with incre relatively increased vascularity and above to be mixed germ tumor with 99% embryonal carcinoma and 1% seminoma. Here another patient with germ cell tumor, 23 years old ma male with a bulb bubble mass with circumcircoid mass, solid hypochloric and above to be seminoma in hysteropathology. Here another patient with germ cell tumor with a scrotal ultrasound involving most of the right testis and the histopathology evolved to be germ cell tumor with metastasis, lymph node to the retroperitoneal, but not include the image. Here another patient with germ cell tumor with elaborated mass in this young male with high LDH and beta HCG and the uh, findings suggested of mixed germ tumor. Testicular hematoma, we have history of trauma and typically present as focal elongated vascular into testicular mass and history of trauma. Echogenicity depends on the hematoma age. Acute hematoma may be relatively echogenic. Testicular hematoma, critical additional finding at scrotal sonography, tonica, integrity, and surrounding testicular variability assessed by color doubler. Variable testis may allow for tonica repair. Hematocele evacuation of the testicular salvage. Small contained intratesticular hematoma ultrasound followed, follow up needed to ensure resolution and exclude underlying neoplasm. Here we have patient with testicular hematoma after blunt trauma and shows elongated testicular hematoma laceration 
and of the laceration of tunica, tunica disruption and adjacent hematocele here. Here another patient with testicular hematoma, post trauma with echogenic clot within the fracture testis, and the testis was entirely necrotic at the exploration. Epididymitis Orchitis, most common cause of acute scrotal pain in adolescent boys and adults. Epididymis is primarily involved in 20 to 40 percent with second, uh, secondary orchitis due to contagi contiguous spread of the infection. Ill defined focal testicular echogenicity or diffuse enlarged or heterogeneous testis. A relatively increased Doppler flow mimic torsion detorsion, and the primary mumps or chitis can be unilateral or bilateral. Enlarged heterogeneous hyperimic testis mimic torsion detorsion. Here we see eridemorchitis with color Doppler ultrasound in a male with acute scrotal pain and hyperimic testis and epididymis with surrounding biocell. And testis is relatively hypochogenicity compared to the other one. Here is another patient with persistent pain after antibiotic for epididymitis, and there is focal orchitis here in the testis, and we have uh, testicular edema involving the scrotal wall and biocele. Testicular torsion with segmental infarction, torsion on grayscale appearance depend on upon the time course. If it is acute sitting, we have a large heterogeneous testis with absent or relatively decreased Doppler flow. A chronic a small testis, central hypochogenicity with the preserved peripheral testicular flow. Spiral twist, spermatic cord, cranial to testis, where ball sign. Color Doppler critical for diagnosis 80 to 90 percent sensitivity for acute complete torsion. Partial torsion may have normal or relatively normal exam. Optimized technique for slow flow, low pulse repetition frequency, and low wall filter. Segmental infarction, we have an elongated geographic hypochogenicity MRI for confirmation. Rare cause for, of, for acute scrotum and the predisposing history, vasculitis, sickle cell disease, and hypercoagulable states. Here we see testicular torsion with ultrasound for evaluation with acute scrotal pain. Shows the triangular hypoecogenicity, suggestive segmental infarction, and symptoms and Hypochogenicity resolved after steroid treatment of drug induced vasculitis. Here, another patient with uh, BN, scrotal BN, focal prominent hypoechoic septi.
and the uh, appearance suggestive of uh, orchitis. However, detortion is in differential diagnosis. Here, patient with ultrasound after hernioraphy and shows no flow within the enlarged heterogeneous hypocort infarcted testis. Less common causes, we have testicular abscess, testicular lymphoma metastasis, testicular leukemia, gonadal stromal tumor, and testicular epidermoid. Clues for that, testicular abscess, clinical history, cr critical, boldly or untreated of epididomorchitis. We have a vascular, mixed cystic, and solid into a testicular mass surrounding a biocele. Lymphoma, most common testicular tumor in men more than 60 years, and we have multiple lesions. 50% of cases are bilateral, and often large in size at time of diagnosis. Commonly occurs in association with disseminated disease. We ill-defined a predominantly hypoechoic region with increased flow at color double interrogation. Metastases are rare and most primary include prostate, lung, and GI tract. Here, patient with testicular lymphoma with Patient, 83 years old, with right testicular mass and shows heterogeneous involvement with multiplicity. And the patient has on the same sitting a lymphadenopathy. The findings are suggestive uh, of lymphoma and confirmed after surgery. Testicular leukemia. Appearance similar to lymphoma, uni or bilateral testicular masses enlargement, a blood testis barrier limits chemotherapeutic effect in patient with acute leukemia. Testis act as a harbor for leukemic cells. Gonadal stromal tumor majority are benign but are indistinguishable from germ cell tumor. Clinical history, endocrinopathy secondary to estrogen or testosterone by tumor may be suggestive. In children, a precocious hypoperty and gynecomastia. In adults, we, we patient presented with impotence and decreased libido. Here we have a transverse ultrasound of the testis with uh, mass lesion calcified mass lesion with posterior shadowing, and this is certainly cell tumor. Testicular epidermoid cyst, benign tumor, likely monodermal teratoma composed entirely of ectoderm. We have four ultrasound appearance, type 1 classic onion skin appearance due to alternated layers of keratin and desecrobated squamous cell, type 2 densely calcified echogenic mass with posterior shadowing, type 3 target or bull's eyes appearance, cystic appearance with echogenic center, secondary to compact keratin, and type 4 we have the mixed button, and the classic appearance may prompt inoculation rather than removal of the testis. Here we see the patient with the well-circumscribed hypochloric testicular mass with characteristic of onion skin appearance, and it is pathognomonic for epidermoid cyst. And uh, 
cyst was successfully inculated, and this is type 1. Here, another type 1 iridomoid with high ball, high bar equal rings on represent keratin and desecromated squamous cells. Here, another iridomoid cyst in this 34 years male with solid and cystic component demonstrate internal vascularity not demonstrated internal vascularity and this is the specimen of the epidermoid cyst Rare but important causes, we have granulomatous orchitis and adrenal arrests. Helpful clues for that. Granulomatous orchitis, we have ill-defined hypoechoic mass, mycobacterium infection or idiopathic, multiple hypoechoic masses in appropriate population, young black male, consider sarcoidosis of the testis. Here we have tuberculosis of the testis. We have multiple hypocoric lesions involving the right testis and here the corresponding Doppler ultrasound of that. Here the same patient has lymph node and the cable and after treatment, it is uh, disappearance of enlarged aortocaval lymph node. Here, patient with granulomatous scrotal uh, disease in a black male with scrotal discomfort and bilateral hypocoric lesions. and suggest multifocal germ cell or lymphoma, but the history, clinical history, sarcoidosis indicating granulomatous disease on the biopsy, sarcoidosis. Adrenal wrists, clinical history, congenital adrenal hyperplasia suggestive the diagnosis. Aberrant adrenal wrist trapped within the developing gonad without stimulation, typically less than 5 mm. If exposed to increase ACTH, they enlarge and become bulbable masses. May result in testicular structural damage, spermatogenesis, and disorder and infertility. Glucocorticoid replacement therapy may stabilize or cause regression of these masses. Bilateral, often weekly shadowing testicular lesions. Here, adrenal wrist in this infertile 35 years old ma male with history of congenital adrenal hyperplasia shows large bilateral adrenal wrists. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.